Hello everyone, praise be to God and welcome back to the Bugs Life Action Game. Today, we are on the cliffside, starting the second world of the game, and the second world is kind of where the game says, Alright, the first world in the training, we taught you the basics of the game, now, no more training, we're throwing you headlong in, have fun, we're not holding anything back anymore. So this is where the levels start to get actually, like, pretty darn tricky, especially if you want to 100% them. So thankfully we get at least a tiny bit of a, I'm not going to say breather, but at least a little bit of an ease in with the cliffside. The next level is much harder. Let's take a look at what this is all about. Level 4, Dandelion Flight. Ride the winds and enter Riverbed Canyon. Oh boy, yeah, this is going to be tricky. Yeah! So now, Flick, as a 3D model, has this little leaf backpack on, and he's going to have this for the next several levels of the game. And I don't know why, but I feel like this backpack signifies levels that are really tough. So right off the bat, you can see there's um, the bird flying in the sky. This is our first encounter with the bird. Basically, if we land on the canyon below, the bird will see us and will one-hit kill us. Not good. Also, this is a tricky level to 100% because this is a level where we start on basically on this entrance platform, and the main gimmick of the level is if we hit this pre-poised seed, it's a dandelion, and we're supposed to ride the dandelion all the way down that canyon. As soon as you ride the dandelion and leave this platform, you can't come back. So anything you don't gather on this main platform is lost until you reset. Oh, yeah! And there are some tricky jumps that are needed to get a bunch of this stuff in this area, so that's fun. So let's get the easy stuff first. Yeah, this piece of grain uh, in the sky requires a very precise grain, jump grain, to get, grain. or you can just use the abdomen bounce and extend your jump ever so slightly. So the F is in the sky over there, which is fun. We'll try to get that later. This is going to be tricky, though, because we need to find a way to get this little token over here, and we don't really have that much height to us just yet. Let's see if we can get this. Alright. I don't really remember how to do this, so I'm just going to have to wing it. I believe you can jump from the stone to the top of the leaf platform, but it's a really precise jump. Or I guess you could just use the abdomen oh, yeah. bounce again. Okay, this is where we're going to need something that a technique that we haven't seen before. So we've seen propellers and how they can propel us and seeds upwards. Well, there's more to it than just that. So if we ride a dandelion float, we can only ride for a certain amount before we eventually just float down to the bottom. What this level kind of teaches us, and the main thing it's trying to teach us, is if you hop on a dandelion and then fly above a propeller, it'll blow you up in the air, giving you more height. That's what we're going to have to use to get across this level. So we're going to have it blow us upwards and then glide yeah! over here to get the F. To the riverbed and beyond! Now, I believe that's everything in the first Flying area. High. I don't think there's anything else. Okay, that was a lot easier to get all this stuff in than I remember, if I'm being perfectly honest. Okay, so I'm going to show you just what happens if you ride carelessly. So what they want you to do... And what you have to do is you've got to ride this dandelion float and hit these propellers along the way to keep your height. If you hit the ground without doing that, the bird will kill us. Because apparently the bird notices us if we're on the ground, but no, he doesn't notice us when we're flying through the air on a very conspicuous dandelion float. I don't know. I don't question it, though. This part kind of was tricky as a kid, hitting all of the propellers, and knowing that that's what you had to do. These are dragonflies. They're new enemies. They're kind of annoying because they always are in the air. But we can get past them pretty easily. Especially once we get the homing berry. Make sure you get the L on the way. Now you might be asking, well, these dragonflies, they're enemies, right? How are we going to kill them later? Well, we... Okay, once we get past the brambles here... 
Okay, after you pass the brambles, you are safe to land on the ground. Now, you can actually go back and hover over that area and destroy all of the uh, dragonflies with the golden berry once you get it, but you can't fly back up to the main platform because it's too high up. So hopefully we didn't miss anything. That's why there were no enemies on the main platform. Man, the butt bounce is really good. I forgot it preserved your aerial momentum briefly. <laughs> and something to remember. Yeah, something to remember. You can pick up these plants and get their seeds. And we're going to need the propeller to get the eye. Also, once you fall down there, there's no climbing back out. So, don't fall down there. So there are 12 enemies on this level. Most of them are dragonflies. They're not too bad to get past. Come on. This is where I really wish the Goldberry said homing abilities. Also, the bird does not count as an enemy. The bird is more of like a stage gimmick. So if you want to go back that way, what you're going to have to do is pick up this seed and bring it all the way back. Because remember, we have two... We picked up two of the brown tokens, and we started with one, so we actually have the ability to make dandelions. Eh. <laughs> Flick's like, oh, this is really tough. Oh, this is really difficult. Oh, but I can do it. <laughs> You say this like it's something new. You did this on the first level, Flick. Just gotta right. get past the thorn plant. Ah, look at me! Yeah. So this is how we're gonna destroy all the dragonflies. Nice one. To the riverbed and beyond. Thankfully, oh, Flick yeah. doesn't have his hands full apparently, and can still still has one free hand to. Man, I I lost a lot of height there. Oh wow! If you if you just land on there, you do actually spawn back up on the main platform. Oh, never mind. That's nice. Alright, well, what we want to do, though, is permanently destroy all those dragonflies. There's one. Get back here, bug. Think happy thoughts. Man, there are a lot of these buggers. Uh oh. If you miss one propeller, you're screwed. Oh, I'm losing a lot of lives here. I still have six because I 100%ed a bunch of levels, but it's still lower than I would like and for lives. Boy ants couldn't fly. Well, they can't on their own flick. <laughs> Anybody can fly if they get the right gadgets. I've flown in my life Boy on an airplane. Colony! Just gotta get past the thorn plant. Oh! Come on. Oh! Oh, hey! I was just out of range of the bird. Cool. I believe the remaining two enemies... Yeah. I believe the remaining two enemies are at the bottom of the pit. Uh, at the end of the level. This is a small level, but there's a lot to it. Mainly with flying on the dandelions. Come on! Flick! Drop the seed. <laughs> For all, for all of this game's faults, it does have surprisingly good physics. It's just do which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But I guess that's where the game's budget went, along with getting all of the movie clips in. Okay, now the question is... I actually forget. Can you just ride across this with a single dandelion, or do we need the propeller as well? I think you can do it with just a dandelion. Yeah. This I can use. Well, we got one of our lives back, so that's nice. Okay, I think everything else is down at the bottom. I'll be taking a risk if I am, but I'm pretty sure it is. Yep, everything else is at the bottom. Cool. 
Last two pieces of grain are on this tree branch. If Flick would jump up there, please, and thank you. I forgot if you jump into a wall, it really pushes you back a fair bit. Even if you just bump into a wall. Yeah, I... Thank you, camera angle. You are the worst right now. Wow, this camera angle is garbage. Full HP. This is the uh, new enemy type and the last two enemies. These are uh, cannon canyon beetles. Oh, yeah. They're pretty simple. Oh, wait. Is this a wife to fly? Never mind. You can't permanently miss anything on this level. I'm just stupid. Last canyon beetles over here. Nice one. That's 100%. That's cliffside. Oh, yeah. Wow, that was a shorter level than I was expecting. Never too much grain. F L I K spells flick. That's me. Well, all right. Oh yeah. That was way easier than I was expecting. Congratulations, bonus movie clip earned. I remember I got stuck on that level for a very long time as a kid because I couldn't figure out that you needed to uh, fly over the propellers to blow yourself upwards again. Okay. Well, that was an important movie clip, not... Wow. <laughs> they, the game, I forgot about all the questionable movie clips that they put in. No, my name's not One. And it's not Erty. It's Artie. Next level of the game is Riverbed Canyon, which many of you who played this game will remember this level. It's kind of famous. Look forward to that next time. That'll be a much longer video I'm already expecting. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I hope to see you then. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.